ladies and gentlemen, Frank Bourne in association with MGM Promotion, sponsored by Raynham Steel, proudly presents 10 three-minute rounds for the WBO European Super Middleweight Championship, live from the National Stadium here in Dublin. Your officials are appointed by the World Boxing Organization, and your three scoring judges at ringside are Paul Makar of Belfast, MLT of Dublin, Zoltan and Yidi of Hungary. Your WBO supervisor is Paul Ryan. Your boxing union steward in charge is Mel Crystal. Your timekeeper at the bell is Alex McKenzie. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is the legendary Mickey Van. And now to introduce the contestants, Firstly, uh, fighting out of the red corner stands the challenger, a man whose record reads 20 wins, 7 losses, with 9 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 11, 13, 4, and tonight he wears the black and white shorts. Please welcome, from Hungary, Ferenc Albe! And across the ring in the blue corner, stands a man with an unbeaten record of 19 wins with 11 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled 11, 13, 6, and tonight he wears the black and gold shorts. Please welcome the WBO European Super Middleweight Champion from Swindon, Jamie Cox! Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Fellas, you know the rules. You obey my command at all times. Right? Shake hands. Go back to your corners. I want no noise with the end. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, this is the WBO work European Mickey Van Super to get into the right, right place to give us those final instructions. Jamie Cox, there he is, ranked number eight Jamie by Cox. the WBO. Arthur Abraham against Martin Murray coming up on November 21. In theory, he'd move closer to a fight against the winner of that one. That's a good scrap, by the way, Abraham against Murray. I'm not sure where my money would be on that one. Andy Murray for me. And Andy Murray? <laughs> Andy, Martin, Andy, Martin Andy, Murray. Andy Murray wouldn't have a prayer. Ma Martin Murray without a doubt for me for that. Fedor Chudinov as well. Oh, 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 there we go. I don't think we're going to be talking about this fight very much. That was a, a very nice, smart, short right hand. Um, Ferenc Albert looks as though he is in uh, a rather dazed state. He's answering the requisite questions from Mickey Van. Now then, is it going to be all over right here? He's just a wrecking machine, isn't he, this Jamie Cox? Oh, oh there we go, that's it. Big, big shot. He bows to the crowd. Referee's going to stop this surely, yeah, it's all over, it is all over, and Jamie Cox aptly named the wrecking machine by Barry Jones has another first round knockout, he doesn't uh, get paid for overtime. Not at all, we have a, we have a thing on Bunty's box now called Punch of the Month, there's November's for you right there. It was a great shot, up on his feet, Albert been helped back to his corner where paramedics will have a look at him. I would imagine he'll probably be given a bit of oxygen in a moment or two. Well... <laughs> you yeah, what do you say? Is Mickey, it, Vance, yeah. Mickey Vance just going over and saying, yeah, you barely oh. drew on breath. Every punch he threw was hard. Look at that. That was probably one of the lightest punches he threw. It was just really fast. But he came out straight away with intention with every punch, as he has for his last few fights. He smacked him with a big body shot before yeah, that yeah, came. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the first punch he threw. But the, 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 the right took the finisher, look at that. He, do you know what? I think he lifts his elbow up a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not calling him... See, let me tell you something. I'm not calling him Golovkin, so the people, please, people, don't misunderstand me. But that's how Golovkin throws his hooks. He lifts that elbow up and, th and, and chops down with the, with the punch. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that at nothing all. Nothing wrong with that at <laughs> all. He's got that, uh, he's got that smile on his face, as per usual, and he knows 
that he's uh, that he's done exactly what was required. That was a, that was a great shot. But I mean, uh, I don't think he was fighting a lot tonight in no, all no, honesty. But but what he did, he did very impressively. This is a bigger test of weight, and he needs a bigger test now. This kid wants a bigger test. Let's be honest. But you can only fight what's in front of you. And at the moment, he's just wiping the floor with everyone. I don't mean he's not he's not giving kids a chance to even get into a fight. He's just he's just going in there. And like I said earlier, now, he is a wrecking machine. Is he ready for a world title shot, or do you sort of say no, he's not because he needs a grueling, a more grueling test. He needs somebody to put rounds in. He needs somebody who we know can put rounds in him. Whether that whether they do, that's irre that's irrelevant. If he can get with someone who's meant to be durable, no, uh, meant to be good enough to give him a fight, then fair enough. So I think, I, for me, you want to see it. But I'm not saying he can, who knows? He, it's, it's, it's people forget how good of an amateur he was, Jamie Cox, how good of a pro he was before his career went up and down. He's looking, he's looking the real deal to me. Ferenc Albert hardly knew what hit him there. He was put away in pretty brutal fashion by Jamie Cox and Barry Jones saying that right hand, a touch of Golovkin. Ladies and gentlemen at one, Minute eight seconds of the first round, your referee has stopped the contest. He deemed Ferenc Alba was in no position to continue. The winner, and still, the WBO European Super Middleweight Champion from Swindon, Jamie Cox! He certainly looked the business tonight. He got rid of Ferenc Alba exactly as he would have wished, I think. I don't think it could have gone better for Jamie Cox. Very good. Congratulations to Jamie Cox. Another knockout in the first round. John Costello, his trainer, and Jamie Cox spoke about how nobody wants to fight him. Well, I think he's just shown exactly why. Uh, Steve, about two minutes ago, I think it was, when we were talking earlier before the fight, you said he needs to get rounds under his belt. That did not happen. He's not going <laughs> to get it with that sort of power that he showed there. I mean, he hurt the opponent with a body shot, I think, before yeah. the first. Not just the